My name is Christine Marquette and I'm a registered dietitian with the Austin Regional Clinic and I'm going to talk to you about how to take a particular diuretic that's a combination of triumterine and HCTZ or hydrochlorothiazide. This particular medication needs to be taken alone. It's very important that you don't take it in combination with other medications because there are a lot of other medications that can actually interfere with the absorption of this particular medication. With this particular diuretic, it can be taken either with or without food. Food doesn't really play a big factor in the absorption of it. So again, you can take it on an empty stomach or you can take it with meals. The most important thing when taking this medication is that you take it consistently. If you can, try to take it at the same time each day. The main reason for using this particular medication is for blood pressure and often it is used in a person who has had problems with other blood pressure medication causing them to lose too much potassium. This particular medication can actually increase levels of potassium, so you do want to be cautious and avoid using salt substitutes. Often salt substitutes will have potassium in place of sodium. So if, again, if you're taking this particular drug, you want to avoid things like light salt because that can actually increase your potassium levels to dangerous levels. As far as your eating goes, typically you should be able to follow your normal eating patterns. Um, just be cautious with the amount of sodium. Typically it's recommended that anybody who is having blood pressure problems follow a low sodium diet, but that won't actually interfere with the medication. Again, the most important thing in taking triumterine and hydrochlorothiazide is that you take it consistently and avoid taking it with other medications.